So the second type of data that we want is the selected category, which will be just a string. And we want this data should come from the URL root. So first of all, we need to set up a root param for our category. So the way to do that would be to go in our app.roots here and in our products path here, we can give a category here like this. Okay. So this means that this is going to be a parameter and only if the path matches this product slash a category name, a string, then it's going to root to this component, all right? Which is exactly what we want. And in fact, we can now redirect to all here because we want to redirect to all initially. So we have the root will be sending this, but how do we actually read it in our component? Well, there's a new feature that was added in Angular 16, I think, and that makes it really easy. So we're going to go in our provide router and we're going to just give with component input binding here like this. Okay. Now what this does is that this is going to make available the root parameter that we have here. For example, that we have here all. It's going to make it available in the component, the product component as an input signal. All right. We're going to just go in your product script and in your product script here, we can define. Now the name has to be the same. So we can define it as an input here like this. Great. And this is going to be a string and initially we can make it all. That brings us to the third data that we need. And that data is basically the filtered products. Okay. So, so we have two signals at this point. So we have all products, which is this signal here. And we have the category, which is a selected category, which is coming from the root parameters. And we want to create a filtered products combined with this. And this calls for using the computed API, which is part of the signals set of APIs. And computed is basically a read-only signal which is derived from other signals. So its value cannot be set explicitly. It will only be updated when any of these two things update. Okay, so making all of this flow really reactive. All right, so we're going to do filtered products and computed. Now this is basically a function and it's really simple. We are going to see this dot products, the value of the signal. And we're going to do filter and see, or in fact, we should do P because this is a product P dot category is equals to and let's do this dot category. This is also a signal. So we get its value and just to be sure we also make it lowercase. So it also matches if any is if there are any differences in the case of the input parameter. All right. So just in this one line of code, we are actually getting our filtered products. And it's going to automatically change whenever the product signal changes or whenever the category signal changes all because of the power of the angular signals api okay. so this prepares our data now for rendering on the ui 